So this is the pet area. No, that's not confusing at all. <laughs> no dogs, what? Okay. Yeah, which one is it, people? I'm gonna need y'all to get your things together. <laughs> Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. Carolyn finally caught up with us. So she got here yesterday, and then we spent the day here at the casino. But we're getting back on the road, and we're gonna head past Olympia to, I believe, Margaret McKinney. So yeah, we'll see you when we get there. Unless we find something that's cool and wanna stop and check it out. So, onward bound. So we just got here to Mud Bay. I guess it got its name because it's a muddy bay. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so let's go check it out. Yep, that's why it got its name. <laughs> it's mud, just mud. But it is low tide. What do you think, Mumu, huh? She's like, it smells like mud. Uh. Actually, there's some interesting history about it. This is Eld Inlet, and this big ship actually came into this inlet. Can you imagine a big ship coming into that inlet? <laughs> Just doesn't look like there's room for it. So I see, they left the big ship at the port and came in with the little ship, the dinghy or whatever you want to call it. And this is how it got its name, Puget Sounds, Peter Puget. So this is all of Puget Sound. Pretty big. <laughs> that went splat. All right, here goes a big one. Oh, I hit the stick. The only stick. In the wow. Did you hit something else? That sounded like rock. I think, yeah, I think it's all rocks down there. Oh, huh, wow. There's just so much mud. Right. Well, the um, seagulls have no problem walking on it, but I bet you would sink if you walked on that stuff. Ew, birdhouses. It's a beautiful area. Kind of stinks, though. The mud has that kind of sewage smell. What's the Moo Moo Monster? You're the Moo Moo Monster, and there's the Moo Moo Pillow. Actually, I decided to use these here so they don't get dirty and messed up, so... Yep, yeah. they are now seat covers. I like them. And here's my seat cover, the pandemonium one. Looks amazing. Panda. And I have my new panda bear here with my solar pandas with their shaking heads. Looks cute. Oh yeah, I can't forget about my other two pandas. There's my stuffed one and the hand crocheted one. <laughs> Love that one. <laughs> All right, we are ready to get back on the road. There they go. This gate closes at dusk. Campers must self-register at information board in campground. There's Miss Carolyn right there. Go ahead. Go. Uh, me first? Okay. I will go. Welcome to Margaret McKinney Campground. Oi, oi. Oh. All right. Hello. Okay, so all I have to do now is find a spot. Do what? I know, where'd they go? I have no idea. <laughs> Where do you want to park? Um, 
there's one space back or there's one space forward. Do we want to just park here and let them come back around? Right, okay. <laughs> so I have plenty of space. I can back up if I want to, but I kind of just want to stick by the road right here. I don't know. I might change my mind. Terry and Scott are right there, and Carolyn's right behind them. So these spots actually have horse corrals because they are reserved for the horse campers, but that's only Monday through Friday until 7 p.m. Oh, got the chains that go across. Oh, that's a heavy chain. It's a big open spot. There's Panda right there. So how do y'all feel about this spot? I'm good. It smells like horse poo-poo. It's all good. It smells like horse poo-poo, but it's good. <laughs> we could have gone down there and there's no horse poo-poo. It's but all good. Like you know what? Life. If it bothers us that much, we can always move later. Well, baby, we're Today's we're... Sunday, though. Monday, they're reserved for um, the horse camper. So we, if we did decide to stay, we'd have to move. But we're leaving. That's leaving anyway. tomorrow. Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. Somewhere, else. somewhere else where there's actually sun. Because there is yeah. no sun. Because all these tall yeah. trees here. Lord. Yeah. But we should have our fireplace. Okay, that made me dizzy, but Maybe okay. The horse smell. Uh huh. We won't have any. Um, I gotta like keep it running. Uh -huh. Maybe we won't have any. Uh, what? What are those bugs that bite? <laughs> Oh. Mosquitoes. Maybe Mosquitoes. maybe we'll you don't think have any that's mosquitoes. It, really? You think it'll but scare we're away? We're going to have a lot of horse flies. Yes. <laughs> Big <it>. horse flies. <laughs> uh, maybe. Who is that? Who is it? <laughs> is that Ivory? I'm going to need you to have your face. Stop moving your face so much there. Hey now. Hey now. <laughs> You're going to make people dizzy. Wait, okay. <laughs> no, it was my shoe. Sure. She's blaming her <laughs> fart on her shoe. Bucks, you can tell fall is kicking in. The leaves are changing. I love this season. Such a beautiful season. All right, here are the sign-in sheets. Oh, grab one of the, oops. Oh, here. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. But, uh, do we need one for Carolyn? Oh, okay. So, all right. I got her license there's, number. There's a well, pen. I, I think I right here it says number. Oh, you got one already? Two. It's okay. okay. License Come. number. Come. It does. It says required. Discover, Discover pass, pass required. required. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I missed that part. <laughs> okay, so registered. Just put it in here if I can get it in the box. Ta-da! Reco recreational. <laughs> what was that word? Recreational. <laughs> recreational. Recreational. <laughs> so do we right. have to wear orange vests? Is that what no, it is? wearing yeah. orange. It's strongly during, recommended. Uh, that's if you're hunting. No, it says. <laughs> yes, yeah, primitive uh, hunting a, season for kids. <laughs> but that's out there. Oh. Discovery pass required, yeah. Actually, which we've got. Actually, attention, recreational user. I'm a recreational user. <laughs> Do I need to have an orange vest on? Is some guy going to come and snipe me? <laughs> now I'm afraid. I think you'll be okay. I All think right. Scott will be okay. <laughs> oh, missing. Somebody's missing. Yeah. He, have y'all seen him? Missing. He has been missing since we came here in... Was it the same one? It says, yeah, yeah it's since 2016. Oh. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, he's been missing oh, for a $10,000 okay. reward. Okay, so we're here. No, girl, it's not interactive, honey. No, no, can't get it to do it. <laughs> no. And this so, yeah, we is the, the Capitol yeah. Forest right here. Capitol Forest. We're all heading to Arizona, so <laughs> that's where we're going. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Arizona. Plans that we yeah. host north wow. in the summer, south in the winter. So we that's that you smart. Did. We came in and camped one night. So here's and one that's not dried up. They're so small. They look like. They, they Red do get blueberries. Bigger. They do get bigger and um, focus. So this, they're small. Looks like a red blueberry. It's Wait. the end of the season. Focus. Wait a minute. Ah. And you can make um, here before you start. So wait, hold on. okay. And you can make um, huckleberry jam with them. Huckleberry we... jam with them. Mm -hmm. So that's what it looks like. Oops. Dang it. Usually they're, well, I'll wait till tomorrow, so you're my taste tester, and then if you're not sick by tomorrow, then no, I'll... No, I eat these. <laughs> I forgot to remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's more right there. But see, these are really tiny. They're they're drying up. Yeah, look yeah, at they're... them right there. So that's what they look like. What do they taste like? 
Well, if you would taste it here. I'm kind of scared to taste it. They're a little dried up, but they're... Mm. No, honey, I eat these all the time on the trail. I know exactly what those are. Oh, they taste... They don't taste... They were kind of a little sour. They're not really sweet. They are if you get the right ones. Right. Holly bush. What is? This. Oh, uh, the one with the pokey leaves? Yeah, like yeah. in my house. That is a holly bush. And you bush. have to have, in order to get red berries, you have to have a male and a female uh, but to get the berries. But the there berries you know, aren't they're edible. They're not edible. They're right. poisonous. Right. But everybody uses, lots of people use this during Christmas. Right, for, for reefs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. This is Salau. What is it? Salau. Salau? I know that. There are people pronounce it a couple different ways. So, Salau what or is, Salau. What is it, though? Well, they come and they cut it. The pickers come and cut it and then they use it. What is it used My for? understanding is they um, ship it overseas for um, floral arrangements. Oh, so it's not edible. No. Okay, it's just for floral yeah. arrangements. So I the, never knew Alright, these are Salau and we were told that these are edible. But please research it yourself Yeah, first. you do have to research all the stuff first. Never eat anything yeah. you don't know about. Don't take our word for it. <laughs> Look it, they're you stealing know, my wood. Stealing my you, wood. If you want to have a fire, you got to come down to the Thompson. I know, now. what's going on here? Yeah, <laughs> Alright, well it is dinner time, hot and steamy. I made some organic goulash, which is basically macaroni and cheese with spaghetti sauce in it. Instead of using hamburger meat, I used soy chorizo. So hopefully it turned out good. I also put some sauteed onions and garlic in it. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's yummy. Mmm. But still very hot. I'm gonna let that cool down for a second. Mmm, so good. All right, everybody, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with us today, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye for now. Everybody be safe out there and onward bound. Mwah.